both stars have been promoted to producers on the Heat Stars series. For season 5, Outlander has gained two new producers, and they just happen to be series stars Katrina Balf and Sam Hewen, who play the leads, Claire and Jamie Fraser. This doesn't mean that they will spend any less time on the screen, but instead, it indicates that both stars, who have been there from the beginning, will have additional input in the direction of the series. Fansided says that, starting with season 5, both Balf and Hewen will be listed in the credits as producers, but the Outlander executive producers will remain with the series, managing the day-to-day -day needs. Fans should be thrilled because now the two people who are most committed to their roles will help guide their characters forward. In the past, both actors have been able to voice opinions about whether something is right or wrong for Claire and Jamie, but now their concerns have even more weight. While the writers for Outlander use the novels as the guiding force for the show, there has continued to be some wiggle room when it comes to dialogue and character development. For example, in the books, the character of Murtaugh Fitzgibbons is already dead, but it has worked for the series to keep him alive. The Irish Times shares that Outlander star Balf has moved up faster in the entertainment world in the United States than she has in Ireland where the show isn't prime time viewing yet. The model-turned-actor has been nominated for four Golden Globe Awards in a row in the U.S., and is being recognized as an A-list actor and leading lady, despite being referred to as Ireland's secret a -lister. So, the producer's credit is no surprise for those who know Balf, and even her co-stars on Outlander sing the praises of her intellect. Maria Doyle Kennedy, who plays Aunt Jo Casta Cameron on the show, says that Balf is amazing. The brain on her you always find her on set with a book. She's a ferocious reader. Balf says that she is so grateful that the opportunity with Outlander evolved the way that it did, because it allowed her to find her feet with the character and on the series. She says when the show started, they were shooting for a year in Scotland under the radar before the press and the public turned the spotlight on them. I've never worked so hard as I did the first year. The first six months we were doing 11 day, two-week periods and 16, 17-hour days, five hours sleep. We just did that solidly and worked straight for a year. It was nuts. Stars has not released a date yet for season 5 of Outlander, but sources suspect that fans won't see any new episodes until November.